like measles and mumps, most of us have heard about meningitis and septicemia. Did you know that it is a life-threatening disease? Did you know that infants younger than one year are the most vulnerable? Let's take a few minutes to familiarize ourselves with invasive meningococcal disease. What is invasive meningococcal disease, also known as IMD? The invasive meningococcal disease is a severe infectious disease caused by bacteria and it usually presents as meningitis and or septicemia. Meningitis is an inflammation of the protective membranes or layers covering the brain and spinal cord. Septicemia or sepsis is blood poisoning caused by bacteria. How do we get infected? IMD is transmitted from person to person by droplets of saliva where one sneezes, coughs, kisses or when cups or bottles are shared. The incubation period is usually four days but can be between two and ten days. Once infected, what are the signs and symptoms we must be aware of? Symptoms include having a fever, a headache, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, sore throat, neck stiffness, light sensitivity and in cases of babies, a bulging fontanelle which is a soft spot on the top of your baby's head. The first signs of sepsis include leg pain, cold hands and feet and skin colour changes. Later signs may include unconsciousness, confusion and seizures. Because IMD mostly affects babies younger than one year old, it is difficult not initially to confuse it with a cold or flu, which is quite common. Here are some telltale signs that you can identify as possible markers of IMD. Slow movement or inactivity, fussiness more than usual, irritability, touching or holding their head while crying, feeding poorly and sleepiness. IMD is a severe and acute disease that is life-threatening and can cause long-term disabilities. Seek medical help if you observe a combination of the symptoms listed above. If untreated, IMD may result in brain damage, hearing loss or disabilities, including limb amputation. How can we protect ourselves and our children from this disease? There are a few easy things you can do to protect your children. Ensure that you wash your child's hands after touching or playing in open areas, ball pits and restaurant jungle gyms, as these are some of the most common places to pick up unwanted diseases. Secondly, focus on prevention by ensuring your child is vaccinated. Ask your child's doctor or clinic nurse for more details about the invasive meningococcal vaccination.